Hi guys! Welcome back to another A-Level Biology video. I'm Julia and today we're going to be looking at plant cells. This is going to include the three main differences between plant cells and animal cells and also the structure of chloroplasts. We have our lovely plant here, so let's get started. Plant cells contain all the organelles that you would find in an animal cell, but they also contain three key features that you need to be aware of. Plant cells are surrounded by a cell wall. This is made of quite a rigid carbohydrate called cellulose. The cell wall provides structural support for the plant cell. And if you zoom in really closely, cellulose looks a bit like a wicker basket. So there are lots of gaps between the cellulose molecules. This means that the cell wall can't control what enters and leaves the cell. That's the job of the cell membrane, which sits just inside the cell wall. Plant cells often contain chloroplasts. These are fairly large organelles with a double membrane, just like the mitochondria and the nucleus. Inside a chloroplast is a liquid called the stroma, which contains enzymes for photosynthesis. The stroma also contains membrane-bound discs called thylakoids. The thylakoid membranes contain lots of chlorophyll, which is that green pigment that absorbs light energy for photosynthesis. The thylakoids are arranged in stacks called grana. So a granum is a stack of thylakoids. Pieces of membrane called lamellae link the grana together. Another thing you might see in a chloroplast are starch grains. The soluble glucose that's made during photosynthesis is immediately converted to starch, which is insoluble, so that it doesn't affect the water potential of the chloroplast. This is what a chloroplast would look like under a transmission electron microscope. You can probably make out the grana, which are the stacks of thylakoids, and also the lamellae linking them together. Finally, plant cells contain one or two large permanent vacuoles. These are membrane bound sacs that contain a sugary solution called cell sap. They help to maintain the pressure inside the cell so that the plant doesn't wilt. Harmful chemicals can also be isolated inside the vacuole so that they don't damage the rest of the cell. So that's it for this video. Please like and subscribe if you want to and leave any questions or comments down below. As ever, I'll be leaving resources for this topic in the description box. So thanks for watching and I'll see you again in another video.